shooting match. Any objections to a couple of strangers buying in? <laughs> Save your money. You'll be shooting against Bigfoot Mason. Reckon we can risk a dollar? <laughs> what is the best 22 long rifle hunting ammo? Stay tuned. All right, so here's the setup. I've got my small game animal gel targets. I've got a bullet trap here, just capturing any bullets. I'm actually going to shoot ass end first. Just want to capture the bullets in the gel with the ISP camera. There's my 1022 with the Wook stock. We'll talk about that later on. Okay, first up, these are the CCI Quiets. High speed camera setup. Here we go. Nice. Those are extremely quiet. All right, surprisingly, the CCI Quiets, man, it got about, I'd say, 10 inches of penetration. Let's get the hemostats out and retrieve the bullet. All right, CCI quiet, hardly any bullet deformation. Okay, next up, these are the CCI standard velocities. Here we go. A little bit harder impact. So that's pretty interesting. The CCI standard velocities. Look at that. Identical penetration as the uh, quiet. These are a thousand and like 60 feet per second. And the quiets are like 710 feet. Isn't that interesting? Look at that. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and retrieve the bullet. So there's a CCI standard velocity. Once again, another pristine bullet. All right, folks, up next, these are the CCI mini mags. Nice. Now we're getting somewhere. So the wound channel is a little bit bigger. Penetration is probably only, I'd say, eight inches. However, it looks like the bullet mushroomed. That's what you want to see. Let's go ahead and get the hemos out. All right, folks, a big reason why guys love the CCI mini mags. Look at that mushroom, man. That's a beautiful mushroom right there. That's definitely a good, good sign. All right, up next, these are the CCI velocitors. Well, you can tell those hit a little bit harder. So that's pretty interesting. The uh, CCI Velocitors got a pretty good wound channel, but check this out. Almost got full penetration. On the jackrabbit target, I mean, that is easily 12 inches. Let's go ahead and extract it. Well, I'll tell you what, color me impressed. Over 12 inches of penetration. Got a decent mushroom. You know, I actually am kind of surprised. I kind of like those results. All right, folks, up next is the venerable CCI Stingers. These are pretty badass. All right, here we go. Nice. Stay tuned. All right, folks, CCI Singer. Pretty good wound channel. Now, these are the highest velocity uh, CCI bullet, and you can actually see that it broke up into two sections. Let me go ahead and I'll get the tactical hemos out. So the CCI Stinger got about 8 inches of penetration. Mushroom's not bad at all. It actually fragmented. You can see lost part of its uh, lead and jacket. 
That's why CCI stingers are sought after for most rimfire hunters. All right, folks, before we continue shooting, let's check out the details on this Wux stock. That's an awesome stock if you guys haven't heard about him. The Wux Furiosa merges performance with style to create the best crafted rifle chassis in the world. The Wux Furiosa stock is a groundbreaking, high-performance aftermarket replacement for major manufacturers OEM and clones rifle stocks. This high-tech hybrid stock combines wood sections over a full-length aerospace grade aluminum skeleton sub-chassis, giving it the feel of a wood stock with the strength and stability of a metal stock. The proven improvements in both accuracy and shot-to-shot -shot consistency proves the Furiosa to be critical upgrade for serious hunters and shooters. The Furiosa chassis is manufactured from the highest quality components, materials, and techniques in the world. The superb quality of this chassis immediately sets it apart from the glut of cookie clutter stocks on the market. Introduced in 2020, the Furiosa is a flagship rifle stock of Wux. Its distinctive appearance, functionality, and return to the lost art of stock design and craftsmanship have made it a favorite. Proudly made in Italy and in USA. Installation. Drop-in does not require pillars or extra bedding. No gunsmithing required. Grip. Ambidextrous. Chassis. AA7075 aircraft grade aluminum. Hard anodized. Stocks. American walnut and laminate. Length of pull. 13 and half inches to 15 inches adjustable. Spacers also included. Overall length. 31 inches. Weight. 4.8 pounds. Max floating barrel diameter, 1.17 inches. Colors, walnut, micarta black, and midnight gray. Man, this wood stock is gorgeous, ain't it? Sure is. So I got my jackrabbit target turned around facing me now. And these are Winchester T22 targets. All right, here we go. Take the headshot. Nice. So here's a Winchester T22 target. Hit the rabbit right there on his nose. Almost got a full pull. Good 11 inches of penetration. Bullet stopped right there. Let's go ahead and extract it. Once again, folks, a target bullet not designed to expand. But I tell you what, it gets some serious penetration. Okay, up next, these are the Winchester Super Speed Small Games. Here we go. Ooh, I think we got a full pull there, folks. I hit it. I heard it hit the bullet box. Okay, so the shot was low on the chin, got a full penetration, exit, looks like the bullet keyhole a little bit, let's check out the bullet box, yep, there it is, right there. So the Winchester Super Speed clearly got 16 inches of penetration, there's a bullet, a little bit damaged, not too bad though. All right, folks, up next, this, these are by far my most favorite. These are the Winchester 42-grain Subsonics. 
Last time I tested them with my pistol, they just did a perfect mushroom. Let's see how these do. Nice, you can definitely hear the impact on the gel. All right, folks, you'll see why I absolutely love this Winchester 42 grain subsonic. Got an excellent wound, wound channel. And I got at least, I'm saying, nine inches of penetration. But man, we'll check out that mushroom. That, my friend, is a perfect mushroom. 42 grain subsonic delivers again. Look at that. Man, you got to love that. If I were to hunt groundhogs, I think this would be my bullet of choice. Another shot of the perfect mushroom. All right, folks, next up, we got a couple Remington offerings. This is the Golden Bullet 36 grain hollow points. I used to get these as a kid. Nice, those definitely impacted harder, you could tell. A good old tried and true Remington Golden Bullets. Appears to be at least 12 inches of penetration. Decent wound cavity. Let's go ahead and extract it. So the Remington Golden Bullets mushroomed. Not as consistent as the Winchester, but still that'd be a decent small game bullet for sure. Okay, these are the Remington Viper 22s. These have a cool truncated bullet design. Here we go. Nice. I love these hypervelocity rounds. They really thump that gel. So here's a Remington Viper 22. Once again, I got probably 12 inches of penetration. See the bullet right there. Decent wound cavity. Had a, a good permanent wound, wound cavity right there. Let's go ahead and extract it. So you can see that truncated design. It's kind of interesting. I don't think anybody else has done that since. But yes, it is a hypervelocity cartridge. All right, folks, before we continue, let's check out this Fax and Firearms 1022 receiver. Also, the Bolt, awesome combination for 1022. The Fax and 1022 receiver kit provides a quick and easy upgrade of your Ruger 1022 or serves as the cornerstone for your next 1022 rifle build. Faxon 1022 receivers are compatible with all Ruger OEM 1022 non-takedown components, all Faxon rimfire barrels for 1022, most aftermarket chassis, and many aftermarket barrels and internals designed to work with OEM non-takedown receivers. Faxon 1022 receiver kits are backed by Faxon's lifetime guarantee. Receiver 6061 T6 aluminum, black hard coat anodized, chrome molly steel V block, V block screws, rubber bolt buffer, rifle 1022 caliber 22 long rifle. And while we're at it, I'm testing the new Zero Tech. Trace, 4.5 to 27, first focal plane scope. Awesome MOA scope. Zerotech Trace Advance, 4.5 to 27 by 50 millimeter RMG. Unique to ZT, RMG first focal plane reticle to meet the demands of the long range, precision, and PRS shooters alike. The 4.5 to 27 by 50 Trace 
RMG Advanced gives shooters the ability to put rounds on target with speed and most importantly precision. RMG MOA FFP Reticle 30mm tube. HD Alloy Flip Up Covers Precision Turret System. Zero Stop 92% Light Transmission. Glass Etched Reticle Weather Shield Lens Coating. Zero stop, yes, main tube diameter, 30 millimeters, turret index value, quarter MOA, internal elevation, 75 MOA, internal windage, 70 MOA, parallax adjustment range, 25 meters to infinity. Pretty sweet, aren't they? All right, folks, up next, the Norma TAC 22. Here we go. I've got the uh, Jackrabbit turned back around. Boy, those sounded subsonic. All right, folks. Got to hit them low here on this side. And you know what? We got a full pull. <laughs> and some of you guys don't know what I mean by full pull. If you grew up in the country like I did, that's, a, that's from a tractor pulling. Anyways, there's a bullet. It's like it entered the box sideways. Let's try to find it. Well, unfortunately, I could not find it. Not sure what happened to that sucker. All right, folks, up next, these are the Wolf Match Target. I've had this ammo for over 20 years. I think I bought the bricks back when they were like... $22 a brick of 500 all right here we go nice once again that sounded subsonic okay the wolf match target I think we got a full pull. Oh yeah, check it out. There's a bolt laying right there. It's kind of cool. Again, see what that bolt looks like. Once again, it's a target ammo. So not designed to expand. All right, folks. This is the high dollar stuff. This is the Ely Semi-Auto Precision Bench Rest. Man, I hate shooting these. These cost so much money. All right, here we go. Wow, those hit pretty hard, surprisingly. Okay, the Ely match. Semi-auto precision bench press. Almost got a full pull, folks. Right underneath his chin. Let's check it out. Once again, the Ely precision bench press semi-auto target bullet not designed to expand. Alright, folks. Well, obviously, you have to match your bullet to what you're hunting. You know, left to right, those are primarily target bullets. And then you get into some of the hollow points. They actually do expand. So anyways, hopefully that you guys enjoyed this test. Stay tuned. All right, folks, I'm going to take one last shot. You know, I've been shooting the, the jackrabbit, you know, lengthwise. But honestly, you guys know the 22 is enough. We usually just take headshots or even chest shots because the animals are so small, you don't want to ruin the meat. So I got the Winchester 42 grain subsonics. Gonna take a headshot on the rabbit. Here we go. Nice. Let's see how that looks. All right, folks. Looks like a perfect headshot. Good wound cavity. Exit. There's a box. See if we can recover it. I don't know. Alright, good deal. I see the bullet down there. 
Let's go ahead and recover it. Yeah, there we go. Check it out. Yeah, I, I just absolutely love these uh, Winchester 42 grain subsonics. Just a awesome hunting bullet for sure. All right, folks, all that hill thought I got my steel target set out at 107 yards. I got the CCI standard velocity 20 long rifle. Gotta give a quick shout out to McGowan Precision Barrel. This is their carbon fiber barrel with the Benz chamber. Let's see if I can hit that. What do you say? Impact. 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 Oh, too much fun. All right, folks, hope you enjoy this video. Matt, tell you what, it takes forever to shoot these kind of videos. I'm, I'm trying to man the high-speed camera. I'm trying to remember to hit the remote trigger to get the high-speed footage. I think I got her all done. So anyways, what is the best 22 long rifle hunting ammo? Well, it depends. It depends on what you're hunting. If you're hunting bigger game, like maybe groundhogs or even foxes, Try to find a bolt that's going to expand and give you a mushroom to get some internal damage. If you're just shooting squirrels or rabbits or crows or, or starlings, any good target bolt will suffice. You're not really looking for expansion. You're just looking for accuracy. So this Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Remember, support that Second Amendment. We'll see you later, and I thank you.